Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, thankful for our Patreons and those supporting us over on Ko-Fi and for all you guys watching on the other channels as well. I just wanted to put this out there that if you are in the mood for binge watching, you can do it on Patreon. Uh, and again, uh, there are also videos the videos that are not patreon exclusives you can watch on patreon too just so you know um, we're very close to 900 total people watching on patreon i think 890 or something like that now um, and we also have 490 i believe um, paid patreons that are supporting us in our endeavors to put out these videos and do the research and and work with uh, spreading the awakening on the planet so there are again then 400 people that are not supporting but still watching on patreon so i just wanted to share that with you guys and instead if in case you just don't understand how that works um, and it is subdivided here on patreon as you can see so there there are different subdivisions like if you if you wanted to go down uh, the music mantra meditation, there's a dozen here and also channeled messages as well. Still in the process of sorting through some older ones on Rumble. Uh, again, it's not sorted, but we do have 3000 videos up on Rumble. Uh, also on Brady and, and BitChute as well. Rumble does uh, give back to us. Um, it has... <laughs> You know, amounted to a little bit more than a couple of Happy Meals, but we don't uh, eat McDonald's. But but still, at the same time, there is a return for the channel on Rumble. And then Hearts Home is monetized. Uh, but what we do with the music is we, we don't put any commercials in the middle of the music. Last thing you want to get is a commercial in the middle of calm and relaxing ambient music with your biofield tuning. It would... It would go totally against, uh, you know, the whole purpose of it. But you can go over on Heart's Home, for instance, and, and go through the playlist and just go down uh, the meditations. There's 14 of them. There's 46 mantra lists, a dozen uh, of the music again. And uh, there's 12 also over on the biofield tuning. Now, with the music, with those music ones, you are getting a biofield tuning because Cindy is running the tuning forks. And this is something the guides wanted us to do. Uh, so if people are feeling off, if you are feeling uh, sad, depressed, angry, um, irritable, or even just health related, you know, you got a killer headache or whatever it is, run them. Just do one of those typical uh, view full playlist and, and play all. This is what I do when I'm um, you know, working on a project. I'll go over to um, one of my channels that I'll listen to and click play all. And, you know, just there you go. So, you know, it'll roll straight through. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and we do appreciate those because I see it all the time. You little people out there that are so full of love, you're out there and your patrons, but you're also jumping over on YouTube and other channels um, just to show your support. And, and you know who you are, and we, we thank you guys so much. We do thank you. We really, really appreciate it. And the music and the energy work together, it's just, it, it's a little bit of a different animal. So it's not something to just listen to it's going to help the heart and soul and this most recent one that we did it was a, a 528 dna it was for your dna tuning but it was also to help remove blocks and help with contemplation so if you are listening to that most recent one and you start thinking of stuff that's that's gone on before stuff that happened that means you're processing it this is a good thing so if you're having those sad thoughts that's deliberate. That's to get them processed and up and out of your energy field to leave you feeling lighter and brighter and ready to go on. I, we just saw this and I just wanted to uh, include it. Isn't it curious that if you look at a graphene molecule, it has the same uh, structure uh, there as the 13 stars. Uh, in the dollar bill, e pluribus unum, out of you know one many, out of many one, 
Yeah, as above, so below, you can't get by this. And this is definitely a system that's hard at work. Uh, you have Putin saying that if 45 comes back and becomes 47, he'll take 45's plan seriously to end the war with Ukraine. And uh, Russia supports it. You know, it feels like... It feels like I think we're on like plan D, E, R, F. It, it doesn't feel that this is the original timeline or even the secondary timeline. It feels like they're uh, just going down the line. And, and they literally do go off of, uh, obviously, algorithms. And whatever the AI is, is recommending is, is what the um, power structure will do. And so when you see that the Tories crushed in a landslide, <clears throat> low turnout, UK election victory for Labour, um, massive, massive call for change. But is there going to be any change? I would have to say, you know, looking at who got put in, it's probably just for appearances. It does tell us that Absolutely. The people of the UK are sick and tired of what's been going on, especially the last four years or so. But Keir Starmer isn't the answer. <clears throat> so you have his labor taking 412 of 650 seats in House of Commons. This is the most since Tony Blair's 1997 triumph. And how did that end again? You know, it doesn't really matter if we replace one puppet with another. That's the bottom line. <clears throat> now, the system does this thinking, okay, <clears throat> they're so mad at us because of this guy's face and everything he's represented, which is basically the weefers and, and the, you know, behind-the-scenes crew there. So, hey, we'll throw them out, and we're going to give you something brand new, another puppet. Another puppet. Yes, another puppet. Yeah, he's been on record saying that he enjoys Davos. He, he thinks it's wonderful. So, you know, one Weefer puppet out, another Weefer puppet in. Mm -hmm. it, it is, and that's just the way it goes, on and on and on. It, it never really changes. I mean, they put out hope and they put out, well, maybe this person says a few things that are different, but once they get in there, they, they're following the same script again. So what, what do we do about that? Well, we have to follow our own script, a different script at home, something that's not going to support them so much. He was <clears throat> all for, all for the lockdowns, all for, you know what, uh, ouch, ouch, you said it wasn't going to hurt. It did hurt, and, and you know, again, it, it's there's no change here. This is really this is all appearances. Um, you know, a lot of times I just randomly mumble to Cindy, and I'll say, you know, we had uh, eight, eight years of Reagan, then you had a little, you know, four year attachment with, um, you know, George, the first George, but he was just so dark and sinister i don't know if you could hide it so well and then you go into eight years of clinton and then you know you shift to eight years of bush and then we go uh, eight years of obama and then we went four for trump and then f four for biden and then what are we going to do four back to t um or is it all going to dissolve because it, it's interesting i i think you know, their plans are not really working, but here they are. They're doing what they do, which is shuffling the deck and saying, <laughs> you happy now? No, we're not happy now. You know, uh, you know, she's no longer in there. People were tired of Penny. We're tired of all of them. Um, Andrew Bridge. And now if he won, then I would be saying, holy cow, maybe just maybe there's really a chance for change. Um, but even at that, I, w I would still be wondering, is he just simply um, controlled opposition as well? Because you have to do that because ultimately they all bow the knee to the to the royalty. And yeah, it's supposedly just in uh, just a formality. You know, they don't make any real decisions. The royals don't make any real decisions. Again, no humans make any real decisions, not not as far as what's going to lead to the freeing of the planet. 
from a political standpoint, if if the entirety of the system was thrown out and not replaced with a system put in by, say, a Putin to be his pu- puppet or, you know, our new Mao Xi uh, to be his puppet, you know, what, puppets are just puppets. We, we need to break it down as a system. Break down the system. So Jim Ferguson, you know, he's saying... Well, the high priestess of the WEF, the witch of Westminster, has lost her seat. Another one has 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 bit the dust of the puppets. But then there's another puppet that just comes right along. Now, hopeful with what we see in El Salvador, but still, you know, you gotta view everything a little skeptically. But the president of El Salvador has has cut down uh, on the power of the um, of the mob there. You know, the cartels run the show in so much of the Latin America. And yet the cartels do work with governments big time. So have they been told to stand down uh, for some bigger purpose? Or is this real? Again, it, it's a case of you, you got to feel into it. But here he is. He's actually helping uh, farmers set up to go directly uh, to the to the public, which again, cuts out a lot of middlemen, makes things much more affordable. You tend to get fresher, more quality food. Yeah. When things come to the stores, you know, like take fish. I mean, it could be, the fish could have been pulled out of the boat three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Um, it, it, it's just kind of gross. And so many foods, so many veggies, and you know, anything that comes into the U.S. from another country is subject to possibly being irradiated Uh, correct me if i'm wrong maybe there's some things that don't get irradiated but certainly that's that's one of the reasons why i'll look and see you know where did this watermelon come from you know texas uh, florida and and make sure it's seeded like i didn't buy any any watermelon we went shopping yesterday um and i didn't buy any um i only have to wait another week or two uh, for our own to be coming in because they're doing really well and we have like a dozen or more uh, growing out there. But I I won't, don't eat seedless watermelon uh, because it's GMO. Every seedless watermelon is going to be genetically modified because nature puts seeds in watermelons. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we we need to keep an eye on. But I think this is, this is really nice. It's a really good idea. You know, what do What do middlemen do? What do stores do? They step up and they say, well, we're making sure that everybody is safe, you know, and whenever you hear the government. How how well has that worked Yeah, I know. It just continues on and on. You know, we're we're here to keep you safe. No, thank you. I, I don't want your kind of protection. So this is refreshing. This is good. I hope more follow this example. You do get to look your farmers in the eye and you do get to know them. You do get to speak with them because a lot of it then is on the honor system you know they don't they maybe they say they don't use chemicals hopefully they don't but i i think that goes with knowing people and making those interconnections with people so it's a good thing absolutely so the former president of brazil bolsonaro um (laughs) has been indicted undeclared diamonds given to him uh as a gift uh from i believe the saudis Oh, yes, it, it is a tangled web. But the reality is in these times, anybody that's really running for the highest political offices, um, it's really about ego power. You know, it's it's all the usual things. And the corruption is there on on every side. This is how the most corrupt people in the world become the highest level politicians, unfortunately. Now, Beryl has been taking a little bit more of a northern twist. And as you see, uh, the eyefall there looks to be uh, pr- pretty much right over Cozumel. And, you know, there are some amazing ruins over in this area. And Cancun is, is obviously one of the vacation capitals of the world. Category 2 landfall. What this means is it's not going to be over land long. So Beryl has a chance to strengthen. And right now, Texas is in the bullseye as this young lady is doing her best to save her roof and you know again it's 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 so sad that so many people in the world that have so little or are living in conditions that many people would feel is 
very, very challenging, suffer and, and don't really even have a clue necessarily of what's going on. I, I'll tell you, though, everybody I've been talking to in our, uh, you know, Deep South community here, I'm really surprised to see the level of, of awakening that's going on. I mean, everybody in our area, surprisingly enough, they understand there's something huge going on. They don't trust anybody anymore. They don't trust any of the politicians. doesn't matter what side. Yeah, they still think one side's a little worse than the other. But they're not trusting them. They're not trusting the uh, DRs anymore. They're not trusting uh, the whole medical system anymore. There is a big, big awakening going on, which is exactly what we need. As you see here, it's going to emerge on the other side. And, uh, you know, Saturday, be pretty close uh, to, again, going back to a Category 1 uh, the models are showing it should be an impact of Texas, more than likely, possibly the northernmost, easternmost point of um, Mexico on the border here. Um, but the more and more of them are, are making it look like it is going to be steering more. Um, so, yeah, Houston, you know, Galveston, Corpus Christi, all the way up to the border at Louisiana, uh, you know, Lake Charles, you, you just still have to keep your eyes open because again we've seen strange things in these times we really have you know everybody should be buckling down and just having your preps ready just in case you just never know we've seen some really crazy stuff happen to poor texas i mean they've they've really gotten throttled in the past through through weather through storms through you know winter summer heat i mean they seem to get it pretty bad. So let's send them some energy and uh, let's suggest that everybody just have some extra water on hand and, uh, you know, have, have gas and have your generators ready. But hopefully it'll be a soft blow. You know, um, we were talking about the Cascadian uh, quakes that were going on and uh, just show you guys. We did have a 5.7. A 5.7. That was that's pretty significant. Uh, as you see up here, now we're starting to see some smaller ones popping out. If I remove those from the map there, uh, a little bit smaller, you know, but basically just be aware because, you know, we got that we were very, very likely to see the major quakes in 2024. 2024 is, is basically halfway over now. Um, and we haven't seen the big quakes. In fact, we've seen the opposite. We've seen a lack of big quakes, really, when you look at it on the whole. Uh, and some things which we could always count on just didn't happen. You know, with the big sun sneezes and nothing really big coming out. It feels like there's a lot of pent-up energy. I do totally believe that our Mother Earth is doing her best to make our existence uh, as secure as possible, where the system is doing the exact opposite. Uh, the system is all about the system. So right now it's gotten pretty quiet. There's only showing 170 quakes. Um, so And there's nothing much over in this area or down in South America. So, you know, just be aware of that potential. Um, violent lava fountaining at Etna. Etna is, is, is putting a lot into the air and, and is being very active. Stromboli is as well, uh, as you see. So over in Italy, a lot of volcanic activity. And this is over in the Azores, increased seismicity. Um, and it could be another uh, volcano going off over there very soon, too. So... You know, there, there's a lot of things that we haven't seen energetic relief from that I think is still uh, something to, to realize. So the potential is, is there. Switzerland, first country in the world to ban mammography. Think about this. Uh, how many times were you told as a kid and, you know, even just as an adult, uh, uh, don't go out without, you know, lathering on the sunscreen. UVF is an eight today. And, you know, people are starting to wake up. I mean, it's just part of the wakening up that some of the things that we have taken to be 
you know, must do's, right? And, and uh, you know, it's not the case with me. I haven't been to a doctor in 20 years. Um, and, and I don't personally have any health insurance because I wouldn't use the system. On, I mean, if I break a bone, yeah. If I need something to be reset like that, you know, if you had a car accident, things like this. Sure, you know, there's there's a lot to be uh, had there. Um, I just don't trust the system. You know, my brother lost his life to the system. I've lost a lot of friends to the system. I think, again, there's there's a lot of... Uh, there's so much more negative uh, in my mind that can go wrong in the system. Uh, whereas... <laughs> I think nature is it has everything we need really and it's just it's just starting to realize that for for more people to start to realize that everything that we really need to balance ourselves is provided to us naturally if we just know it. So yeah, we're going to be doing um, a video. We'll put together a more intensive video with a lot more of the stuff that we do. We we mention it all the time, but but we'll do another you know, longer video covering everything that we do or everything that we avoid. And, you know, again, we're not PhDs uh, and we're kind of proud of that because, you know, that's indoctrination that we haven't had to go through and and pay a mortgage to get. Uh, you know, when you see this, 50 to 60 percent of positive results are incorrect. So what are you even doing it for? Right. And then the fact that you could see the title there increase yeah because again what does the system do well you know just look to the past and what they recommended they recommended full frontal lobotomies you know and and we went to a farmer's market and a lady was throwing uh something into the microwave and we're both screaming at the top of our lungs no don't do it no and still people will will not react like that to a microwave and maybe somebody's still you know listening right now and and using a microwave you don't understand how all the little things add up and it's all these little things that in in the dose of you know one particular thing itself like one batch of microwave popcorn is not going to kill you however <laughs> when you add in all the fluoridated water you add in all the uh, pfas's pfas's you know the the different toxins you're getting from the different plastics that are in everything seeping into your system all these things you go to the dr you get this done you go get something else done it all adds up to toxic overload and isn't it obvious that there is a plague of cancer upon the land? Uh, it says to the levels where even people out in the country are starting to question everything. It's pretty obvious. Mm. I, I really like this. I'm glad that this has come out and it's on the news. I think this is very empowering for women who go to the doctor. And the doctor, of course, they're going to push these. They're going to recommend them at a certain age moving forward and if the person says no you know the doctor is going to have their own reasons why they should disagree with you but this is perfect this is something somebody could print out fold up put in their purse take on their phone and show their doctor say hey this this is not a good idea i told you i didn't want to do it you know and the reason they do do it is for insurance purposes anyhow it, it, you know it just gives the insurance one more thing to bill with and they don't care about your health they care about their billing so if they can have a, a woman go through this and get sick well she's going to need more doctors to help and, and therefore there's more insurance money therefore it's just a really nasty circle that continues on it's a racket it's a total racket it, it's awful and you know i've been to doctors who when i did need something i was in the system and i did need <clears throat> a say thyroid medicine let's say i need my thyroid medicine well, they were wanting me to go in. It's like, you know, you, you have to have these tests done first. You have to have this thing done first before we're going to give you any medicine. And yeah, I can understand a, a blood draw, but you shouldn't need to go through all the grief of a gynecologist just to get your silly old thyroid filled. No, I mean, it's it felt 
like, you know, strong arming, like they were just being nasty. So it's like, no, we're not going to give you your medicine unless you do this. So I, I'm just so grateful that I've done what I've done to not need the system any longer. So I don't have anyone strong arming me. I, I, I don't, I don't have to, um, agree with anyone, any, any of the doctors out there in the system, uh, just, just to get anything done. I mean, it's brutal. I know a lot of people that still need to rely on doctors and I pray to God for them that their doctors are understanding and at least good to them. But we always need to be continually stepping out of the system slowly but surely. It's something that takes a lot of time, years. It could take years, but we need to get started. And I, I thought this was really cute. You know, it says apparently if you can see a tree, Don't you're, see what we see. Okay, you're left brained. And if you can see two people holding hands, you are right brained. And I don't know. I, I won't say like Mike said, but to me, it's pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, I mean, what we see is, is, is it's cute. It's cute. And uh, it, it looks like it's um, watch too many Cheech and Chong movies. I'll leave it there. <laughs> what do you see here? Uh, this doesn't look like rock. Uh, this looks like scales. Feels like scales. I wonder if that's a fossil. Hmm. There's, again, so much that's right in front of us that you might get the feeling something's odd. But don't worry. Science says that's just a natural rock formation. Go back to sleep, human. Go back to sleep is what they're telling you. Just pay your taxes, uh, eat and drink what we tell you, and go back to sleep. How about this? Let me um, ask you guys, do you pick up anything off of this crop circle? Because to me, um, I immediately pick up something, but I'm, I'm not going to mention it. I want to see what you guys pick up. Do you get anything out of this? What do you... Uh, interpret this as if you have any interpretation at all um, this is a very intricate one you know so I pick up a, a specific thing and you know um, we'll leave that at that because you know I won't ask Cindy her opinion except for on this little one which we, again we have this family that just had little baby birds in our window because none of the windows in our house have screens uh none of them none of the windows were actually openable in this house you know basically the house is something that's a total project but <clears throat> that's why we got it for what we got it for and we got it for the property because the property is perfect for growing a little homestead on this little guy doesn't want to leave her human because that's security you know, again, the animals, they can sense our frequency and vibration. And so, you know, we have birds all the time, like directly in our windows because um, I have a feeder right there in the window. And so uh, a little family decided to move into the window next to it. And now they had little little babies and it's adorable. We hear them all the time chirping. Oh, it's so sweet. It's the sweetest thing. And you know what's really fun and curious when we start our mantras and do our qigong, it's like we definitely get more more visits from birds. So it, it is a lot of fun. They're very sweet. You're always hearing the sweet chirp, chirp, chirp. Um, they, it's like they want to interact with you. It's just something that's really nice. You know, in so many ways, it's therapeutic. It just kind of takes you away. It's like we watch the birds like some people maybe watch fish. So it's just nice. So thank you guys for your support. And we look forward to your comments. As always, please do share these videos. If you get a chance, keep awakening as many people as possible. It does feel like we are shifting paradigms. And so all together, the more people we can awaken to everything that's going on the planet, the quicker we can shift it into a more positive paradigm. Source bless. Namaste.